where did all started going wrong where did all these things started going wrong or is the number nine cars at chelsea now spreading to each and every player and is really hunting them because if that's the case then we can understand now potter is trying to think to rest Rhys james and tiago silva at the same time and you're at number 10 playing southampton losing that game to southampton it is happening you know like it is really happening It is over and done. I think this has to be the end of this drama now because he has already showed that he's not the right person for the club and he has no idea completely, has no idea of what's supposed to be done in order to bring better changes to the club. Since he was appointed, I mean, since he was appointed to replace uh, Thomas Tuchel, he has done nothing. Even a simple task of just identifying and picking the first 11 players to the team is one of the things that he has never done. Or who has an idea of uh, who are the first 11 players for Chelsea? For me, because I don't know. We are seeing players playing just because they're in Chelsea and they have to play. So what's really happening with Chelsea is, I think, wrong managing team. We know the players who are Chelsea, they are good. And you cannot say that they are not good players. They are good, but the managing team around the team is not the right for the players. Chelsea losing to Southampton was one of the biggest mistakes that our Graham Potter did. Where on earth are you going to raise Rhys James and Thiago Silva when you're in a real crisis and you need points like desperately, you need those points. You need those points that our Southampton took. And they deserve to win because you did a wrong decision resting Rhys James and Thiago Silva. Okay, when we talk about uh, Rhys James, there is an, a research I saw somewhere that uh, when he's playing with uh, Chelsea, when he starts for Chelsea, there is a 71% possibility of Chelsea winning the, the, the game. And if he is not in the game, it is, it is 29% possibility for Chelsea to win the game. And I think I'm about to agree with that because we've seen Chelsea really struggling even during his injury time and he was out of the game. Chelsea was really struggling. Again, on their game against Southampton, they struggled, like they really struggled without Rhys James in their defense line. Now Potter deciding to raise Rhys James and Thiago Silva is one of the things that we are not even getting to understand. What was he planning to? What was his plans when James and Thiago Silva was out and they are really in a crisis that they needed those points desperately? Literally, there is nothing going on in Chelsea. Chelsea are not scoring, they are not defending, and they are not giving their opponents something to think. Chelsea are just running from goal to another goal, but not scoring. Ryan Sterling, during his first games at Chelsea, we saw him as a good player, and uh, many people is even like, uh, maybe he was underrated at Manchester City. But now... Of late, he has again changed. There is nothing. He's doing nothing in the game. I don't know if he's assistant referee in the game because each and every time he's running from another corner to another corner. Another line to another line, but no scoring. Like, there is no goal. Chelsea have scored that you feel like they have really done this in a striking good manner. Nothing. Chelsea has no striker and they are pretending like... Uh, they have, they have other strikers better than Aubameyang. For me, I think Aubameyang is the best striker for Chelsea as of now because we know Aubameyang is the best striker. He was the best striker for Arsenal before leaving to Barcelona. And at Barcelona, we saw him again as among the top good players at Barcelona before coming back to Chelsea. Now in Chelsea, he is not playing. Potter is pretending to be having good players than Aubameyang yet. Chelsea has no striker. Resting a boomerang is something that I think it will be even a shock because why are you resting somebody? You could be even useful in your team, even if it's because that one or two goals at least than losing games day in, day out. 
for me i think it will it will take time for Graham Potter if he's go if if actually is going to stay at chelsea but i think you need to change everything totally everything the poor decision making at chelsea is one of the things that it is really costing the club poor decision making from the managing team no first 11 players at all they just pick players i think according to the price they were paid for in order to join the club because i don't know why but i think that's how they choose the players to play in the first half there is no way you're going to pick somebody who was who just joined the club that day and you want him to score and leaving players who are experienced and they have been playing each and every time and at least they could have been scoring goals for the club even if you paid 100 and something for for the player it doesn't mean that since he was expensive or something is going to score goals no way and i think that's one of the things that really Chelsea need to change in their lineups poor lineup and again players i think they're having a poor communication they are not communicating during their game or, or when they are playing actually because poor communication is what is costing them a lot poor communication poor performance and now poor results they are at number 10 31 points actually and if they are not like if they are not ready to change some other things I think they are going to finish maybe below 10 with just two, maybe nine or eight this season. I now think Graham Potter really needs to think of the best decisions and the best way to handle the players in the team because if he's not ready to change these things, I think he's procrastinating or something, pro something procrastinating i think that's what actually is doing because i'm very sure it's not lazy but it's just moving forward like i'll do it i'll do it. because each and every press conference is doing it feels like we should be sorry for what's happening yet we are waiting for him to tell us exactly what is going on in the club it feels like we should be like we are very sorry you are not performing and uh, we, we are going to give you more time and don't panic do it at our own time i think that's over doing it at our own time i think it will be it will be very late for him if chelsea are really serious in their project that they have been saying each and every time that uh, we have a project and that's why we are buying new new young players for present and future project then i think they really need to do something with the managing team. I'm not saying Potter is not the right manager or something, but I'm saying he actually and immediately needs to fix some things in the team. He has to think of what's really supposed to be done with the players because you cannot just behave like you are not the manager and you are following somebody's instructions giving him time is just something i don't get it because why give somebody time he was in the premier league because he was just coming from a premier league team joining another premier league team but different two different teams giving time somebody like every tenag is understandable because he was coming from another league joining premier league and that could make sense like we have to give him time to learn the premier league style and everything but Potter has been in the Premier League and you cannot tell me he's not qualified for the Premier League man managing or coaching work because he could not be anywhere he could not be anywhere around Premier League teams. So this thing of give him time, I think he has been given enough time and he has actually to change everything in the team. Why don't just uh, Potter decide like in my team I'm going to play Rhys James, Thiago Silva, and other players like at least they have some two players in their back line they are very sure of while playing now playing kukurela jesus christ like 63 million pounds for kukurela overpaid play in the premier league if you have five overpaid players in the premier league then kukurela have to be among those overpaid players in the premier league because paying 63 million pounds for kukurela to join 
Chelsea, a big mistake. There is nothing is doing completely nothing. Where is the Kukurea many people's like? He is good, he can play the left and the center back. Where is that Kukurea? Because the Kukurea we see now is the lazy Kukurea, not comfortable with the ball. Having no idea of what I'm supposed to be doing when I have the ball with me. And completely, again, Kolibali. Where did all started going wrong? Where did all these things started going wrong? Or is the number nine cars at Chelsea now spreading to each and every player and is really hunting them? Because if that's the case, then we can understand. But if there is no cars at Chelsea, then I think something has to be done. How can you be planning to have your striking line when a woman is up? Each and every time when... The, when Potter is asked about how uh, Abu Mang is like he's fit and training well. Then if he's fit and training well, why are you not playing the player? Why do you pretend like you have enough players yet you are desperate? Yeah, I can say you are desperate because Chelsea are lacking a striking line. Mason Mount, yes, he's a good player, but for now I think his mind is not even in Chelsea because first of all, he refused to extend his contract with the Blues. And in, he has his own reason because he has actually seen there is nothing going on in Chelsea. He doesn't want the cars, the number nine cars, maybe. He is actually there, but we are not sure of that. What I'm trying to say is, should Potter be given enough time or the time he has been given is enough and he has to do something in the team? For me, I think the time he has been given is enough and there's no need of adding him more time. I think it will be a waste of time and I think Chelsea has to look for somebody else. Somebody like maybe Simeone, Simeone or even returning Tuchel to the team, I think is better, 10 times better than Potter. When we say Potter, it doesn't mean that he's not a good coach or he's not fit for managing work. No. What we are trying to say is maybe players... And the way Potter wants to play his game are not adding up. So I think maybe if he could just find a place where he can go and start his, and continue with this job, then it will be better for both Chelsea and him. Chelsea are doing things in a way that you cannot understand because Graham Potter racing players is one of the mistakes that I think is also trying to do what other managers and other managers are doing because we've seen Eric Tenag resting the likes of Ran Martinez, Luke Shaw, and really rotating his players in a good way. And we have seen that working really, really well for Manchester United. Now Potter is trying to think to rest Rhys James and Thiago Silva at the same time. And you're at number 10, playing Southampton, losing that game to Southampton. I think, I don't know what to say, but it is happening, you know, like it is really happening. It is happening for Chelsea. Now Modric is a good player, but Chelsea was not in need of his services because the player was to join Arsenal and Arteta had a good plan, an idea of the player you were needed during that time. Arteta knew the kind of player Modric is in his services and the way he's going to play him in the club to bring the impact to the squad. And now... During that time when Arsenal was still negotiating on how to buy the player and everything, Chelsea decided to reject the deal and buy the player. They were really not in need of him. They wanted the player and not needing the player because Arsenal are the one who are in need of the player. And they already had an idea of what exactly the kind of player Modric is. Now Chelsea, because they had money, they decided to reject the deal and go with the player. Now see yourself. See your life. Mudrik is doing nothing in the team. He's a good player, yes, but he's not fit to the the way Potter wants him to play. And that's one of the things I think it is, it is really costing Chelsea. During this January transfer, we knew that maybe it is Boyle's idea of hijacking other teams. 
deal, but I think it was Potter's deal because we've seen him resting players when and because other managers are resting players. Graham Potter needs to think, really, like clearly think of what's supposed to be done in the team. They released Jojino the other day to Arsenal. And after three or two games, we are seeing the new Jojino. Already scored a goal the other day and he has totally improved to a new kind of a player. Why? Because he has a new coaching team around him. That's one of the things that is that is really costing Chelsea because they lack the right coaching team around the players. For me, I think Chelsea really needs to figure out how to solve the problem because if they are still relaxing like it is only this season that we are weak or we are not at the right position this season only, then I think it will cost them another season to be back to their ways of playing because we know Chelsea as a good team. I think I really need to finish this, but I'm not saying you start eating Potter if you have been believing in his project. Continue believing, maybe things will change, but I'm afraid it will take time for Chelsea. I'm rushing to a point, Potter, to replace Tuchel is the biggest mistake that Chelsea has ever done in two decades. And this thing of giving him time, I think it's just a waste of, waste of time. Mourinho came to, came to England and win the league. Conte came to England and win the league. We've seen Eric Ten Hag came to England and we have seen his project working really well for him. The way he has dealt with Maguire situation, Ronaldo situation, shows that he is a manager and everyone in the club is under his rules. I think if Ronaldo was at Chelsea during that time when he was in Manchester United, then I think Potter could be asking him the players they're supposed to be playing and what exactly is supposed to be done. Something seems to be wrong, completely wrong with Potter. He knows exactly what's supposed to be done, but he is just ignoring ignorance and everything because we've seen him each and every time during an interview or the press or is bait press or interview, post or pre, it behaves like everything is right, yet everything is not right. Like everything is not right at Chelsea. Let us know what you think at the comment section about Chelsea's situation. Who do you think is the problem at Chelsea? And if Chelsea are going to release Porter, maybe at the end of the season, who do you think will be the right manager? For Chelsea job because they are really struggling right now. They are not striking, not defending. They are just running all over the field doing nothing, completely nothing. It is happening. And uh, yeah, it is happening. Like, share and subscribe. Till next time, stay safe.